Okay, so there's 48, a little soft tackle, red dart with a gold bead. Just a variation of Lance Egan's red dart that I tied. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Steve Blackfly. I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I'm going to whip up a little popular red dartish variation. I'm trying to fill a Tenkara box, and this fly has caught me a lot of fish. So, we're starting off with a size 14 barbless hook. I will go over all the fly tying materials at the end of the video. Ah! And we've got a gold slot of tungsten bead. I'm going to thread this on the hook, not into my finger. Thread. Probably the single most important element in a fly tying. Alright, we got our hook in the vise. And we're just going to build up just a little dam behind that bead just to kind of seat it. We want this fly inverted, inverting. Could also use lead. Uh, obviously, that dam didn't work, but that's okay. Let's trim it and we'll wrap our thread back. Stay. Okay, Steve, slow down. I don't know why, but I feel nervous. I guess I haven't filmed a video in a long time. Not fly tying video. And we'll just bring this back just about midway. I've got some uh, dyed red rooster saddle. And we're just going to take a few of those fibers right there. Got about eight or nine strands here. And I want it to be about half the length of the body. So I'm just going to place it with that hand. And then I'm going to switch hands. And just do a little bit of a, kind of a pinch wrap. Loose wrap, see if that looks good. And advance our thread and cover those loose strands up. Back to that right there. Okay, so next I've got a strand of crystal flash. My dog is still barking. And we're just going to take it and we're going to wrap it around the thread like that. Bring it up on the top there and we'll just tie that in. She's barking because my wife is home. So I like these to be about half the length of the tail. So I'm just cut those. And now that I've got my dog happy, uh, we're going to tie in a piece of extra small silver wire. And I like to tie the wire on the side of the hook. And we're going to bring our thread back. Whoopsie. Premium dubbing wax. Next, we're going to take some of this peacock hurled color ice dubbing. It's actually angel hair. And I got a pretty good glop here. This is about five times more than I'd normally use. Um, 
but I'm gonna spin up a body with this. So I'm gonna try to start thin. Just gonna spin a quick noodle. I'm gonna try to start thin towards the back or the top of the noodle and kind of get thicker as we move forward and be the body. And I know it looks terrible now, but just, just wait to the end. And I promise you guys, if you tie this fly, you will catch fish on it. It is a fish catching bug, and I don't know why. But I've experimented with a lot of flies, and this has been my absolute best fly ever that I've tied. Okay, so next we're going to grab the wire out of our keeper. And I'm going to counter wrap. Meaning that I'm going to wrap opposite of what I wrapped the thread and the body. The, what this does is this gives the fly some segmentation and adds quite a bit of durability. And again guys, I'm just a beginner tire, so I'm still learning as you can probably obviously see. Leave me some tips in the comments, some ways I can improve, some hacks. Okay, so next I've got a, another rooster saddle soft hackle feather. This one's dyed tan. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do to this feather, guys, is I'm going to take and I'm going to strip one side. But I'm just going to hold the stem and I'm just going to strip a glop of those fibers off. So hopefully you guys can see that you can see that I've stripped one side of the hackle. It just makes for a cleaner, like I said, cleaner hackle spin. And then I'm just gonna preen some of these fibers on the tip back. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this tip off. I just need a small tie-in point. And I'm gonna angle that down. Pull it, cinch it just a little bit. And advance my thread forward. I'm just gonna hold the thread with one hand and I'm gonna spin my hackle with the rotary on my vise without. Once we get it turned here, it'll start to spin up nice and smooth. Give it three or four spins. Bring our thread behind here. Go ahead and wiggle it through. Capture it. Bring it back. Get a couple ties in front. Get in there close and clip your spin, clip your stem. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna preen these back as much as I can. And just get a couple wraps in here. And now we are going to tie in. Guess which color? Did you guess? Well, if you guessed pink, you were right. We're gonna tie in some of this hot UV pink dubbing wax and we're just gonna spin us a little dubbing noodle then we take and preen these all back again and go ahead and wrap looks good Take one of these, you know what this is? It's a whip finish tool. And you're gonna create the number four. See that four laying on its back? And I'm gonna keep this as tight to the bead as possible. I'm gonna create another point of contrast by giving this, oh, probably six or seven wraps. Makes for a good, good durable fly. Gives it, like I said, another point of contrast. Well, next, we're going to take some UV cement, give it a drop, 
right behind that bead. Take our UV light. This cures the resin. And I like them long and buggy like that. I'll show you this fly, what it looks like wet. It looks good. So here's a little flat tires hack. Take and grab your hackle with your fingernail and pull it and it curls. Just like ribbon on a Christmas present. It curls and makes that hackle really buggy. That is a fish catching bug. It rides inverted like that, hook point up, so you don't get snagged. But hope you guys tie one up, hope, ca hope catch some fish. Take care guys. Okay, so I switched things up again. I just put on a little uh, gold beaded uh, Egan's red dart variation that I tied with a soft hackle. Ice. Let's see if I can move something with just this red dart. Size 16. Um, Dart comes in hot. This is six act. There he is. Nice little brown on the dart. It made the day all worth it. Thank you, God. Okay, so there's what he ate. A little soft tackle variation of Lance Egan's red dart that I tied. I wet my hands in this 20 degree water.